And then in order to ensure that we reach everybody in the community. A non-governmental organization, the Code Project, have called on residents of Ararami along Shogo Alafia Community Development Association and its environs to be security conscious amidst various challenges in the country. Community leaders and stakeholders in Ejigbu local cancer development area gathered at the meeting point of the CDA to be sensitized on how best to conduct themselves and be security conscious during ongoing nationwide protests in the country. The community leaders are being proactive, having observed the aftermath of previous protests in the country, which eventually turned violent, leading to loss of lives and numerous properties within Ejibo. The most recent of them was the NSAS protest, which the country and many people are still struggling to recover from. Having met with the executive chairman of Ejigbo LCDA, Honorable Mansuru Oloyede Belu, leaders of Ararami Olorun Shogo Alafia CDA saw a need to hold a public enlightenment program for residents. They used the medium to admonish the people on the need to take their security more seriously than ever. Our security is a collective effort. Everybody don't need to partake. Whether you are a landlord, you are a resident, or open a jalado group, don't need to partake the no or security. So about the ring for eight years, for eight periods, I need not to be returning for you. Give me the details. Then I'm going to pay everybody else. Go 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 and go add them. Addressing the audience was the CDA chairman, Al-Haji Kende Abdullah, told the community the essence of the gathering. Um, the government of Ejibo CDA had summoned all the CDAs within Ejibo to a particular meeting and the message is expected to be reciprocated in our immediate CDA. And that's the reason why we try to um, you know, come to pass the message across that this is what is happening and secondly there are issues that have been um, occurring and occurring in our community we feel like we need to address it collectively and to raise the consciousness of the people so that we'll put a stop to it and subsequently nip it in the bud that's why we try to try to do this sensitization um, program today for the community the people of the community gave their remarks about the situation of the country. We want to appeal to our children, our youth, that everything will be alright. Because what happened in the last four years, we don't want it to repeat itself. So that is why we are now appealing to them. If there is anything that they want to discuss with the government, they can easily go to their local government chairman and explain to him. They will now relate their message to the governor. I just want to advise the youth that they should just allow God to reign in their hearts. Because by struggle, by fighting, it can solve the problem except they allow the fear of God to come into their hearts. We always talk to our youth that they should follow the examples of their leaders. At least we are all past uh, youth in this environment and there was no any cause for alarm in the 80s when I was youth. So now we used to talk to them and we advise them that they should always follow our example. They should be a good citizen in the community. Meanwhile, they expressed their willingness to collectively address the security issue in the community so that they can sleep with their eyes closed.